The third baseman. Another guy in this lineup who hasn't swung it very well this year, but does have a base hit this afternoon. Side to pinch run for Luke Heyman. Interesting they didn't do that immediately because that's a ball that I think a lot of people would have gone first to third on the ball deep into the left center field gap. Heyman thought about it, put on the brakes. They will go pinch runner here. Now the Tigers have their hands full. It's Jalen Guy, the senior out of Greensboro, North Carolina, transfer in from Liberty. Will be out at second base now. Interesting decision right here, Dave. Is this ball is dead in the gap, and you can still Heyman thought about it right here. Then no, put on the brakes, probably wise with no outs. But after that, the, the Gators decide to go to one of their reserve outfielders just to make sure if it's a ball that you need an extra step of speed, they have it on the base pass. Now, if you're if you're Clemson, you're you're talking all kinds of bunt defensive strategies right here. Florida's thinking about all the different options they can do. And of course, we've already seen what happens when runners get a little aggressive with their secondaries. You always got to be aware of a guy bunt through a ball and a back pick happening right here. Nobody out, two on. Let's not forget the old hidden ball trick somewhere in here. Clemson's <laughs> already pulled one of those off in the regional last week. Dale Thomas with five sacrifice bunts, which leads the team. He will square up, pull the bat back on ball one. Freshman with Claddy at first base, he really needs to be uber aggressive coming downhill. That little girl was a little upset with that last call. There's the bunt. Play's going to be the first. Thomas does his job against the runners over to second and third. Now. And Brody Donay coming to the plate. The Gator catcher with a home run earlier today. Back in the sixth inning, launched one out of this ballpark. That's big time power. And this one was about as easy as you will ever see a right-hander run one out of the ballpark to the backside gap and really down off the top of the bleachers there at right center field. End up hitting the hitting facility. They're going to put him on, set up the double play. Of course, speedy Michael Robertson here can really, really run and. That makes the double point very difficult. And now with the force out, the safety squeeze becomes, or suicide squeeze even becomes very difficult because it's a force out and not a tag out of the plate. Michael Robertson, who's the nine hole hitter. He is one for five today with a couple of strikeouts. So what's going through Robertson's mind now? What's he trying to do with the play? Well, I saw Chuck Rawls just motion to him, get the ball up, right? He got tags and Shelton with sinkers down. So you got to get the ball up and get it to the outfield. There it is. That's going to drop it. Florida, 
a team that was the only three seed out of the wow. What a performance! What a day! And in the NCAA who knows? thirteen and seventeen, one from Clemson. Entering terrible season, and they are going to the College World Series for the ninth time under Kevin O'Sullivan. What a run! Team that and really got a recently on how the game was finished. And Michael Robertson delivers. Let's the see that again. And that was. Michael Robertson gets the ball up and absolutely smokes it in the backside gap. A no doubt or double the moment it left his barrel. Clemson left shell shock as they emptied their guts out on this field here today. At some point, somebody was going to have to lose this ball game, but it was a championship effort by the Tigers. It was about the Gators. Unbelievable. Right we talk about the there, and wins. that will end. From Clemson all season long. Let's not forget the Gators have now been we did 19 it. times. We did 12 it. Twelve of their thirteen SEC victories were from come from behind style, and they pull it off here. And you can't forget the effort by Brandon Neely. No, and what what he did, and now what ends up being the middle part of this game will, will be stuff that they talk about this program for a very long time. And the Florida Gators have won nine straight Super Regionals under Kevin O'Sullivan, nine in a row. Now it looks like we're on our way to the World Tower Series, but we're still now awaiting for the winner. trip for Kevin O'Sullivan and his crew. They know that landscape quite well. Who will be next? Only time will tell. Just an amazing five hours and five minutes of baseball that really had everything you could want. What a game. things maybe you didn't want. What's on now? College baseball, Evansville versus number one Tennessee. Oh yeah, that's right. We got Went Tennessee to versus what? Evansville Purple what? Aces. An unbelievable story for him, and it just wasn't enough. The drama he provided was quite amazing. But the Gators found a way, and they win two games here in Clemson. And we won game one and game way, number right. two. And the offense ten runs yesterday, eleven runs today. Pitching just enough to get them over the hump. Now on ESPN2, we have uh, Texas and m versus Oregon Ducks. Since 1983. The Gators went at Kevin O'Sullivan. And we won a nine state super regional. Before getting to Florida. One nine state super regional. Head job. Nine straight Super Regionals. They lost their first one. And they brought nine from them. Kevin O'Sullivan has been coaching the game for 17 years. They've been on nine times. Absolutely amazing. That's a heck of a program over there at Clemson, by the way. Yeah, they're, 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 not, they're far from done. They will be back. Hosted a regional last year. One and hosted a regional this year. This is a program that just getting going under Eric Backage. We are waiting to get uh, Kevin O'Sullivan on the headset. Yeah, I think he has grabbed one and he is turning around. There's so much going on down there. Sully, what in the world? Try, just try, just try to tell me what that one felt like. Uh, that was just back and forth. And really had a tough decision to make with bringing you know, Neely back in. Really tried to, um, try to get to the end in there. We showed a tremendous amount of resiliency and uh, being an outstanding Clemson team and uh, just off the trial of our players. So only you guys know how hard this year's been. Only you know. Can you try to put it into words for us, the, the grind to get to this team to this point? Yeah. I mean, because, you know, I mean, you know this is it's, it's a long season for a reason. And our guys just kept fighting and fighting and fighting. And, you know, we had our inconsistencies early in the year because our pitching was very young. But, you know, you got me, you know, you got me feeling out there, you know, to finish the game, right? And, um, 
and uh, we just continued, like I said, just to stay the course, and it was up and up and down season, but we, we did what we needed to do at Georgia, went two and three, and, um, you know, here we are. Jack Caglione has been a part of, of so many great moments and victories um, with you. Um, can you just put into perspective what he has meant for this journey, this ride, for this team? I mean, honestly, everything. And that was one of the messages about two weeks left in the season. I, was, you know, I had talked to the team. But, you know, what a shame it would have been for us not to get in the postseason with the season jacket. Right? So um, he pitched his tail off today. It was hot. And um, we certainly would not be where we're at without him. So, so you, you, you've been coaching a, a long time. And a lot of big leaguers, a lot of guys that will go down with legendary coach performances. Where do you rank Brandon Neely? after this postseason run? I'll tell you what, I, you know, he's the one who came up to us and said he wanted to ball the head and you know, man, once we were all in, we were all in. So mm -hmm. he wouldn't have been available tomorrow, but we still had Liam Peterson, I think he threw 52 minutes start yesterday, and we had, you know, probably Fisher Jameson, but, um, you know, Clemson is probably going to be in a similar situation with their pitching, so once, once we brought him in, that was it. Coach, you've been to Omaha a bunch. I mean, this is nothing new for you guys, but it seems like this one might have a little special, just the way this season unfolded. I mean, it, is, is this is this as sweet as it's as, as it's been? Uh, it's sweet right now. <laughs> you know, you know, I, I know we got a lot of criticism throughout the year, but you know, right now, but you know, all the teams, what? it's it's really hard to get to this point. Yeah. You know, and have to go on the road to Oklahoma State last weekend, who's an outstanding team on the road, and then turn around and have to come to Clemson. And the, the fans, the atmosphere was just outstanding this weekend, and um, yeah, I mean, it's it, it's uh, it's it's certainly exciting right now, but. Um, you know, we're going to let this one savor here just a little bit. All right, buddy, listen. I, 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 I can't see Jack. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> oh, hey, Sally, we'll let you go, buddy. Thanks. Enjoy it, man. Talk to you. This guy, shit. Yeah, Jack, he's not finished yet. <laughs> Again, we won the game, game number two. And our score was 11 to 10 by one point. We're on our way to Omaha. For men's college, Will Sirius will be up next. We'll still find out a waiting winner. And coming up next is going to be Tennessee Volunteers versus Evansville Purple Aces. Connors baseball game, and we'll be live at the Nelson, sorry, Lindsey Nelson Stadium in Knoxville, Tennessee, home of the Tennessee Volunteers. For Chris Burke, our entire ESPN crew, I'm Dave Neal saying so long for the final time from Doug Kingsmore Stadium here in Clemson, South Carolina. Congrats to the Florida Gators. Time to get you to Knoxville. With Clay From the Doug Kingsmore Stadium in South Carolina.